The most suitable areas for cultivating oil palm in Ghana are Western, Central and Eastern region. My name is Enyunam. Thanks for joining us on The Ghanaian Farmer. If you have any questions or any thought to share, get interactive on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter, The Ghanaian Farmer. We are all the way in Denchembo. Yes, I'm sure you might be thinking of Westing, but this is in the Eastern region and we find ourselves in over 100 acres of oil farm, oil palm uh, farm here in the Eastern region. I'm going to be chit chatting with a young man who is around the age of 37. He's doing amazing when it comes to farming. He's an award winning farmer, he's a businessman and his educational background would amaze you why he would shift his focus to farming. When I come back, I will be engaging Jafford. Thanks for joining me. If you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. And my name is Enyunam. Standing next to me is Jafford Okwini. 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 Mm -hmm. And he is the, the owner, the CEO of Inkunim Farms. Congratulations for the great work you're doing. What is a chemical engineering doing in farming? What was the inspiration? Why would you put aside your certificate and become a farmer? Well, businesses you can, there are so many diverse ways in businesses. Mm. It's not necessary attaining the degree or the diploma, mm. and then you have to get a government institution or something to work. So you can create businesses or employment elsewhere you find yourself. Only when you have the technical idea, the knowledge to do it. Okay. How long has it been since you started oil palm farming? It's been good, but quite expensive though. I see. Yeah. How many years now? Five years now. Five years. Yes. Okay. How many acres of oil palm farm do you have? I have 106 acres. 106 acres. Acre. Okay. What variety of oil palm do you have on your farm? I have the Tenera type of oil palm. Okay, in Ghana, we call it as what? Well, they can tell me as Abepa. Abepa, yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, what informed that choice? Why do you choose that variety? Now, I had an experience from mm -hmm. one farmer. Okay. He said he was into oil palm and a farmer of uh, a, fa a colleague from my gave him oil palm seedlings to nurse. Okay. So after nursing, he transplanted to the farm. Mm -hmm. So almost like eight years, mm -hmm. then it was not bearing fruit. Okay. So he told me that if you want to buy oil palm seedlings mm -hmm. and plant, mm -hmm. the best variety, the best variety, is you have to go to the institution okay. who are dealing with them. You buy from them. From there, you are sure that you get a quality. Palm nut fruits. Okay. What kind of land is good for oil palm farming? Oil palm cultivation does not necessarily depend. We don't, we don't have any particular type of land. Mm. Yeah. Oil palm crop is a crop which is very strong. Okay. In any kind of land mm -hmm. you can grow. But when uh, you have a land which is more water log a bit mm. at, at least that one uh, it increases the yield okay. yeah okay. but any other land you can still plant it okay. but maybe the the uh, output will be less mm. depending on the different kind of land you plant it on. okay yeah Jaffet, when starting your farm how much did you lease or buy your land for per acre yes, or assuming, the assuming assume, i want to buy one acre how much am I expected to actually buy for? Okay, during the time I started, mm -hmm. I bought a land, maybe an acre mm -hmm. for 5,000, some for 4,000. Now, since the dollar to has increased, yes. maybe you can't get, maybe five, five years ago, uh -huh. you can't get the same amount like uh, as, at it, now. as at now. The price will, will increase. It, it will so increase. roughly we are looking at how much? Let's say seven thousand, eight thousand. Let's say maybe ten thousand. Okay. Yeah. Where do you get your planting materials from? The seed. seed you get, yeah. Where do you get them from? I buy them from the research institute. Okay. Yeah. How much is one sold? 
During the time I started, then one was 10 CDs. Let's use it now. Now, now last like year when I asked, it was 15 CDs. 15 CDs. CDs. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm cultivating, let's say, one acre, okay. and I buy my land around 10,000, mm -hmm. how many pieces of oil palm seedling will I need to fill one acre? For a Greek standard, yes. it's 60 seedlings per acre. 60 seedlings. CDs, yeah. And one is sold at 15 CDs. CDs. Okay. Then I'll use the rest of the money for labor, Bye. inputs, that's fertilizer and other Number things, things, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Now, when you buy the seedlings, mm -hmm. is it immediately you transfer it to the farm for planting or you have to keep them somewhere for a couple of hours or days before you plant? How is it done? Like, take me through. After I prepare my Bye. land, and I go to pay for my seedlings. Yes. What do I do next? For the seedlings, yes. it, it is not next already. Okay. They've already packaged it in a rubber form. Right. So before you buy your seedlings, it means you prepare your nestle bags mm -hmm. and maybe you water it for it to become soft. Okay. So when you buy it, then you come and transplant it into your nestle bags. Okay, so you and do the nursery so yourself. Yes. Others do the nursery themselves. Others to buy the already nest ones. What do you do? I buy the already nest ones. The already nest, nest ones. ones. And then you just come and plant. plant it, yeah. Okay. So when you come to the farm to do the planting, what should be the distance in between each seed you plant? Uh, for an acre, yes. you have 60 seedlings. Okay. Yeah, 60 pound fruits per the distance. Yes. Now, when you go to the research institute, mm -hmm. they have uh, workers there who are trained to uh, at least advise uh, you. Advice or, uh, normally, I don't do the spacing myself. Okay. Because it should be in rows and columns. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we have experts, we hire them so that they do that for us. All right. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Now, when you plant the nursery, yeah. how long does it grow? How long will it take to grow before I see it at this level? Viewers, I'll be letting you see. Mm. How long? How old is this one? This one is a year old. It's a year, year old. old. Okay. Yeah. And the one behind us is how many years old? It's three years three old. Three years, years old. old. How long does it take for me to start seeing its bare fruit? After three years, you can see its bearing fruit. But how long will it fully mature for me to start harvesting? Let's say four years or after three years going you can still harvest it but uh, you, you have you not have it in a mature yield okay yeah so the the more the years are coming then the more you the are coming. they are coming okay yeah so i should be patient enough to give it around four five years four years four like years yes, four years then it's fully it matured, matured well yeah. for you to have enough food for, for harvesting. harvesting is that correct yeah okay now uh let me take you back a bit okay at what point in time or day is it good for me to plant my oil palm do we have yes. is it in the evening or daytime sunny or rainy what is the best time when i have my seeds that i can plant early morning mm -hmm. on a moisture day mm. you can you can plant it okay uh, early morning on a moisture day right. you can plant it okay but during this time of the season we are heading towards the hamatan mm -hmm. so it's not advisable to plant around so, this yeah okay yeah so after four years mm -hmm. you want me to wait for four years yes. when i wait four years how many times do i harvest my first harvest how many times will i be harvesting in the year every month depending on the yield mm -hmm. or the output of the of the oil palm mm -hmm. every month mm -hmm. you have to harvest okay every month with your hundred and plus acres yeah. of farm are you able to tell me kilos or tons you harvest every month? Yeah. Now the 106 acre, they are, it's, it's not fully matured mm. or it's not fully. I have about 19 acre, mm. which is fully matured. Okay. Yeah, which I'm harvesting. Right. But this one is almost three years. So maybe this year going, I can still harvest. I can get a small amount of uh, the oil palm from it okay. that not, but not has to compare mm. with the one matured mm. yeah. all right mm. so the 19 mm. acre okay. mm. how many tons do you get every month every month last week uh -huh. last week wednesday and thursday mm. 
I did harvesting. I had almost about 13 tons. 13 tons. tons. Okay. Um, let's do a bit of math here mm. again. How much did you invest into your farm? From the beginning, I invested almost 250,000. 250,000. 250, yeah. Into the farm, farm from the onset. From the onset. Okay. Now, within this span of five years, yes. how much do you make after each harvest or annually, the year, when the year is running up and you are putting figures together? Are you able to tell the profit you make? The 106 acre farmland is not fully matured. It's yes. always not fully matured. So, we'll so then we use the yes. 19. Yes. So annually, mm -hmm. what I normally do is when I do the harvesting, mm -hmm. I have a mill, mm -hmm. uh, I do the palm oil okay. and store it. Okay, you process? It, yeah, I process okay. it, yes, mm -hmm. and store it. Mm -hmm. So getting to the end of the season, mm -hmm. at least uh, the profit margin becomes, it becomes scarce on the market. Okay. Then I sell it off. So last year, for instance, right. I sold oil palm almost 110,000. For last year, okay. So uh, I will take, uh, I will deduct some expenses mm. from it, mm. and like to choose to continue for the following season. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So now, when you harvest the fruit, mm. does it mean when you harvest the fruit, fruit, does it mean that you don't sell the raw fruit? You do process Processing. all of it yourself. Yeah. You process everything yourself. I process it everything. Okay. Yeah. So tell me some of the things you process. Apart from oil, mm -hmm. what else do you get from palm oil fruits? We get the oil itself. Uh -huh. We get the ones we've been eating for MPC. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then you can get palm kernel oil too. Mm -hmm. from Also from it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, from the oil itself too, mm -hmm. you can get soup. Okay. They can use the local market, they yeah. use it to prepare the local soup, okay. the one we call Abunkrua. Right. Yeah, from it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, Japheth, it's very good that you process your, your, your harvest the best. and then you add value before you sell. Sorry. What is the best time in the year am I expected to get good pricing for my oil, uh, oil pan? From January to December. December. What is the best times? Ah, many a price. Now the oil crop season uh -huh. starts normally around February, March, okay. April. Okay. That one you are expected to get a more yield. Okay. Yeah, that is its season. Right. So normally, when it's in, normally in, in its season, mm -hmm. uh, the price drops. The price drop. Okay. So getting somewhere October, November, December, then it, it then. The the production or the yield comes down. Okay. They're normally you can, can also now release the one you are hiding, hiding and yeah. then you sell. You sell. That is that is strategic yeah. thinking. Yeah. You see, I am telling you, farming is mm. no more yeah. farming, farming. Mm. You need to calculate it's, the month mm. and know when to sell and make good money. Mm. Now let's look at farm maintenance. Yes. I realize that there are some grass around the uh, oil palm tree. Mm. So when I entered. As for me, with my agronomy <laughs> price, I'm like, hey, Nadia na hai fusa. The place is so bushy. But then you said something. Why do you allow the weeds grow so much around the oil palm um, tree? Why? What's the relevance of it? Because during this time of the season, uh -huh. the sun becomes so high. Uh -huh. So normally, when you weed to the level ground, you expose the soil to the high rays of the sun, okay. which, which doesn't help. So normally we leave it like this. So getting to the rainy season, uh -huh. then it's becoming to the weeds start to grow faster. Then okay. we start weeding. Okay. Okay. All so right. this time of the season we just leave it, you leave, leave the, it, because the normally during the hamatan, uh, the growth of the weed mm -hmm. the, doesn't increase. Mm. Yeah, it maintains to a certain level. So we just leave it so that uh, you can maintain the moisture, the moisture sir, in the, 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 the uh, yeah. Okay, um, Jaffet. What is the lifespan of an oil palm tree? How long can it stay for? Oil palm can stay up to 25 years. Okay, up to 25, 25 years. years. So in these um, 25 years yes. that I'm harvesting, yes. am I supposed to be adding fertilizer to it every now and then? Or because it is all mature and giving me fruit, all I have to do is weed, weed, 
and then come and collect my food every month. Well, when you look at your production, uh -huh. because every year your production have to increase. Yes. So, at a point in time when you see that your your production is declining, mm. maybe depending on your strength, you can buy fertilizer and apply. Okay, how yeah. many workers do you have? We are running up so that the agric officer who help you around this area will join us and share one or two things. But how many workers do you have? I have like 13 workers. 13 workers. workers. Are there any disadvantages when it comes to oil palm farming? Are there any challenges? The challenge is capital intensive. It's very capital, capital intensive. Yes, it's okay. very capital okay. intensive. I'm told you have won some awards. Quickly, what awards are these? I won a uh, best cash crop in the district. Farmer? But yeah. In this district? In the Den district. In the district. Okay. Yeah. Which year was that? Well, last year. Last year. year. Yeah. Okay. Last Congratulations. Year. Do you regret being a farmer? Not at all. What would you tell young people who still do not have an interest when farming or agriculture is mentioned? What would you tell them? Well, what I would tell them that uh, employment or work, it has diverse area. Right. So, when you have the knowledge and the will want to do it, when you do it, you will not regret. Okay. And the amount of money you spent, mm -hmm. you definitely get it back okay. in hundred foods. Right. Yeah, because depending the amount of money I've invested mm -hmm. and what I'm harvesting, mm -hmm. uh, I can harvest it till 25 years. So you're still you're, making your profit? Yes, okay. I will still get my money back. Okay. Yeah. So viewers, Jafet O. Kweni. <laughs> <laughs> the name today, I will finish his name. <laughs> Jafet O. Kweni. And he's the CEO of Inkunim Farms. He's been doing this for the past five years. Mechanical engineer. Chemical engineer. Chemical engineer. <laughs> mechanical, chemical. It's all part. But I am so touched at his age. He's so passionate about agriculture. He's making a living here as a wife with five kids. Nanka, Alright, so Jafet, I know you are an award-winning <laughs> farmer. I know you deserve a lot from me. But today, I work with an organization called Ashinyo. Okay. They, they want to help reduce post-harvest loss and also help consumers find convenience in buying. So with you, Forrester, before we leave here, we'll register you on our platform so that if anybody wants all your power, he can reach out to you. But in the meantime, I'll leave this with you. Hey, Ashe, share my name for your picture. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Hey, Ashe, no, no, so let me see, let me remove it. Let me remove it so that everybody will see. Ashe, no t-shirt. Oh, very beautiful and colorful. So, share my name. All right, let me put it on. Okay, when you are done. You take a picture with it and send it to me, okay? Thank you. All right, viewers, so that's Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Senyo Norman. I just had an insightful conversation with Jafet. I'll be having some one or two minutes with patients who is an agric officer in this area, assisting them when it comes to the technical bit of farming. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining me again. This is still the Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyonam. If you have questions, you have views, you can share on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. Standing next to me is Patient Peda. She is an agric officer in the Denton Ward district, but precisely her zone uh, is among Top Remind. Top Remind. Up in my zone. Up in my zone. And yes, I'm Ketua. Patient, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Congratulations. Okay. So she's been following me on LinkedIn for quite a long, long time. time. And she's been saying, you know, you have to come to my district <laughs> and interview my farmers. Today we are here. Yes, we are here. Now, patients, as an agric officer, what is mainly your job? for the development of the farmer you are visiting? Most of the times, our, our job is just training mm. how to assess technological methods to maximize their yields. Okay. That's all. Okay. We do demonstrations, right. we do field visits, we do field tours. I have uh, other FBOs, farmer-based organizations. We take them to tours so that they can see amazing things other farmers are, are doing, doing to also like uh, help them adopt it into their zone okay. to also maximize their yield. That's all. All right. Yeah. So how often do you do the visitation? Every day in the Every week. Day. Yes. Okay. So most of the time we work for. Uh, four times in a week mm. and the fifth day that's friday we do our reports go to visit the office and other things but actually we can even do all the week okay yeah i was asking jaffet about the varieties of oil palm mm -hmm. how many varieties do we have 
No, we have two. We have two. Two. What we have what? Tenera and Pisifera. Uh, do you and grow? Dura. And Dura. Yeah, so three. Three. Yes. Do we grow all the three here? No, it's only Tenera. Tenera, tenera is if if Dura and Pisifera. It's a hybrid. Okay. Yeah, it's a hybrid. Okay. So and I know that Tenera has more fruit around the nuts mm. that produce more oil. I'll be showing you. I'm mm. asking them to bring me a sample of it okay, so you yeah, can, can see. see yeah. But I also take you around for you to see some of the nuts yeah. that are fruiting. Yeah. Right. So because if you really you. need money, uh -huh. you need to make profit. You don't have to go for the, 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 the other breeds. Hold on. You're saying that if I want to do commercial farming. Commercial farm, yeah. And I want to do production mm -hmm. on a large scale, mm -hmm. I should consider which one? Tenera. Tenera. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And that takes how long to actually mature? Uh, it depends your maintenance okay okay for the hybrid mm -hmm. actually three years you have to start harvesting okay yes you have to but you don't get it at uh, a bigger fruit but right. you, you start seeing the fruits mm -hmm. and by the time what practice normally the farmers do here is well uh, they leave the first fruit for it to rot mm -hmm. to open way for the other ones okay uh -huh. so okay. we call it a yim right uh -huh. that one i don't they don't even use for any oil okay. you just give it to the those who do the uh, soap mm -hmm. uh, Samnango. Okay. We call it Samnango. And this place, Samnango is high. The demand is high because Togo, Beni, other countries come for it to do so. This uh, key soap, uh, this, the, this other uh, commercial soap mm. you see in the market mm. is from oil. I see. And oil pound from head to toe, everything is used. Nothing, nothing is being money, left out. Money. Uh, yes, nothing is being left out. <laughs> okay. Trust me, right. from head to toe. Okay. You know we get basket from it. Right. We even, you okay. know we, we get uh, this biochar. There's some biochar. You know our palm, nothing is left out. Okay. So biochar is uh, abe, 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 abe the oil palm bunch. Mm -hmm. We burn it in a way, in the form of uh, ashes. Mm -hmm. Then you apply it on the palm. That's okay. organic manure for you. Uh, patients, my last two questions mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then we'll wrap up. Mm -hmm. Is there any disease that affects oil palm? Of course. Which are these and how do I prevent it? Okay, one, one, one is, uh, first of all, you have to know the type of land you're using. Okay. And the area is always very important. Okay. And how you maintain it. And the disease attacks at the initial stage when you plant them. The baby ones. The baby ones. Okay. Uh -huh, the baby ones. Okay. There's one that uh, normally call it uh, aquacoon. It's a worm that eats the apex of the oil palm. Mm -hmm. it's, it, 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 it gives it some uh, ash, browning ash. And if you don't prevent it, that's the end of the oil okay. palm. Yeah. Okay. Now, and when I harvest my oil palm, how do I store it for to expect longevity? How do I keep it? And what temperature? No, it, no, it, no, it depends what, what, what activities you use, you use for. Okay. For oil, the mm -hmm. same day you have to start processing. Okay. That's for the, the edible ones. Right. But there's some nangui can be there for weeks and to, to rot mm -hmm. for only uh, soup uh, making. Okay. Uh -huh. oh Aside right. that, uh, oil palm, I think it's a good... So far, I've been working here for nine years. Right. And nobody in this town doesn't have an oil palm. Okay. Or be our oil palm. Right. Because they know what they are the getting benefits in fit. That so you get from everybody, oil even if it's one acre, mm -hmm. a ton now, mm -hmm. if I give you the if I give you the price of a ton. How is it being sold? Oh, I don't want to tell you now. Oh, <laughs> You'll be jealous. You see my <laughs> okay. Please, You'll be see, jealous. You'll be jealous. <laughs> oh. Tell my, my viewers abroad. It's, 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 it's above two thousand. For one ton. ton it's about, and assuming he is harvesting a, a month, thirteen tons. Yes. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a, that's a lot of money. So yes. patient better. She is an agric officer here in Denchembo district, precisely top mine, top mine and other areas. If you want to be successful in farming, you need the mentoring and also training from agric officers. So whether you are a private farmer or you are a government a sole proprietor, how do I say, smallholder farmer or a commercial farmer, you still need the input of these agric officers. Now, She's doing business. amazing well. She's a nursing mother. I'll be showing you her baby. <laughs> so people like this need encouragement. If you're out there and you're watching us and you want to support patients. So our services are paid for. However, patients as an NGO that should support women. She needs thematic bags and other items. So that's like I said, send your support. Let's come back and appreciate what she's doing for women and farming in general. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.